Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Knowledge Base. Today we're diving into one of the fundamental concepts in Java programming. Inheritance. We'll explore the different types of inheritance in Java and how they can be applied to build more efficient and modular code. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. So let's get started. Here's a quick overview of what we'll cover in this video. We'll start with an introduction to inheritance and its importance in Java. Then we'll dive into the different types of inheritance, single, multilevel, hierarchical, multiple and hybrid. We'll also look at code examples for each type to see how they work in practice. Finally, we'll wrap up with some best practices and a summary. Let's begin with the basics. Inheritance is a powerful feature in Java that allows a new class, known as a subclass, to inherit the properties and methods of an existing class, called a superclass. This not only promotes code reusability but also helps in establishing a hierarchical relationship between different classes. Inheritance is key to many advanced concepts in Java, such as polymorphism and abstraction. So, why is inheritance so important in Java? First, it promotes code reusability, allowing you to build on existing code without rewriting it. Second, it simplifies code maintenance, as changes in the superclass can automatically propagate to subclasses. Inheritance also supports method overriding and runtime polymorphism, making your code more flexible and dynamic. Lastly, it helps in organizing code into a clear and manageable hierarchy. Java supports several types of inheritance, each serving different purposes. These include single inheritance, where a class inherits from one superclass, multilevel inheritance, where a class is derived from another derived class, hierarchical inheritance, where multiple subclasses inherit from a single superclass, multiple inheritance, achieved through interfaces, and hybrid inheritance, also implemented using interfaces. Let's break these down one by one. Single inheritance is the most straightforward type, where a subclass inherits from a single superclass. For example, consider a dog class that inherits from an animal class. The dog class will have access to all the methods and properties of the animal class. Here's a simple code example demonstrating single inheritance. Next up is multilevel inheritance. In this type, a class is derived from another derived class. For instance, consider an animal class, a mammal class that extends animal, and a dog class that extends mammal. The dog class will inherit properties and methods from both mammal and animal, forming a chain of inheritance. Here's how this looks in code. Hierarchical inheritance occurs when multiple subclasses inherit from a single superclass. For example, both dog and cat classes can inherit from the animal class. Each subclass can have its own specific methods while sharing common behaviors from the animal class. This type of inheritance is useful when you want to group related classes together. Here's a code example to illustrate this. Java doesn't support multiple inheritance directly through classes, but it does allow it via interfaces. A class can implement multiple interfaces, effectively inheriting behavior from multiple sources. For instance, a dog class can implement both animal and pet interfaces, gaining methods from both. This is how Java handles multiple inheritance, avoiding the complexity and ambiguity that can arise with multiple superclass inheritance. Let's see an example. Hybrid inheritance is a combination of two or more types of inheritance and is implemented using interfaces in Java. For instance, a dog class might extend a mammal class while also implementing the animal and pet interfaces. This allows you to combine the benefits of single, multilevel, and multiple inheritance. Here's a quick example to show you how this works. We will demonstrate all these inheritance examples practically one by one in a separate video. So don't forget to watch those all videos for clear understanding. To wrap up, we've covered the different types of inheritance in Java and how they can be used to create more modular, reusable, and maintainable code. It's important to use inheritance wisely to avoid overly complex hierarchies. Remember, while inheritance is powerful, sometimes composition is a better choice. Always document your inheritance structures to make your code easier to understand and maintain. That concludes our discussion on inheritance in Java. If you have any questions or need further clarification, 
feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer each one. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified of new uploads. See you in the next video. Subscribe to our channel to increase your knowledge with the knowledge base. Thank you.